Hey guys, I hope you guys are well. So today's video is going to be on this look right here. I hope you guys like it. Um, so it's just a brown glittery smoky eye with a fierce wing liner and bold lashes and a nude lip. I'm going to show you how I did it. So yeah, let's get on to the video. So to start I primed my skin with Natural Radiance Primer in Natural Yellow and then I went ahead to apply my foundation which is the Matte Pro Longwear foundation, the waterproof one and this is in the shade NC50 and it's a nice full coverage and I'm just using my beauty blender to get all around my face and that's the foundation done. So moving on to concealer, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel and just placing that where I want to highlight. So starting off under my eyes and then my forehead and my chin and then my nose. So I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this concealer. I find that it's a really nice colour but the coverage is so like annoying because you have to keep going over it over and over again so this is my second layer and my final layer but um yeah i'm just going over the spots that i hit before so under my eyes my forehead my nose and my chin so once that's all done i'm gonna bake with my sasha buttercup powder I normally use my Laura Mercier powder but I've run out of that which is kind of annoying but this powder is still quite good the only difference is the Laura Mercier one is a bit thinner which I prefer um, but this does the job and I do prefer the colour of this one so yeah. So now I'm going to go and dust away that bake I'm using my MAC mineralized skin finish powder in dark first and I'm just going to use it um, on the places that I highlighted just to blend everything out and then I'm going to go in with dark deep and set the rest of my face with it. So after all that powder my face is going to feel a bit cakey so I'm spraying my Fix Plus spray all over my face generously to even out the texture of my skin. Then I'm going into contour and I'm using my NW55 Studio Finish Creamy Concealer by MAC and I'm just hitting my temples, um, my cheekbones and also the sides of my nose. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to set my contoured areas of my skin finish powder in dark deep because I didn't want anything too heavy this time. Normally I use my CoverGirl bronzer, but I just didn't want to look like extra brown today. So yeah, I'm just going to use that today. And then I'm going to go over that with my dark powder just to even out the edges and make sure everything is well blended. So that's my base on, now I'm going to move on to my cheeks and the rest of my face. I'm taking my favourite blusher in the whole wide world which is Copper Tone by MAC and I'm placing it onto the apples of my cheek, dragging it backwards to my temples to kind of give my cheekbones a high effect, which I don't really need to because they're already high but you know. In situation what you got! <laughs> now I'm going to take my... Um, eye base and I'm going to take soft brown eyeshadow and place that on top of where I put the base. Then I'm going to take cork eyeshadow by MAC and buff that out and unfortunately the next clip got got cut out, I can't freaking speak today. So um, I'm just going to show you what I did, basically I put a dark brown on the edges um, which is from the Modern Renaissance palette and then I took my mixing medium and placed that right underneath where I put the glitter. And the glitter I use today is by Simi's Boutique. It's a beautiful golden bronzy brownie glitter. 
and then I use my Inglot 77 gel liner as always to line my um, top lash line so I can show you guys me doing my liner but I kind of missed the whole glitter bit which is kind of annoying but I'm sorry guys but you guys can watch me do my liner to make up for it so as you guys can see I make lots of mistakes when I do my liner it's just about patience and just being gentle because liner can sense fear and once it senses your fear you're doomed honey okay <laughs> so just take your time and soft light strokes and be gentle So for lashes today I'm using a pair of mink lashes by Simi's Boutique in the style of Scarlet and I'm just using my MAC um, lash applicators and GOA lash glue to help me apply them. And obviously they're wispy because I love wispy lashes. For lips, I am so simple and so boring. I'm using my MAC Paint and Lip Polish in French Kiss, as well as my uh, MAC Lip Glass in Spice. These two are like my favorite go-to kind of glossy nude lips. So if I'm like stuck on what to wear, this is probably what I'm gonna wear most of the time. So on to the fun part, I'm using my Simi's Boutique Luminous um, Powder in the shade Halo to highlight and I love this highlight so much, it gives me such a beautiful golden glow and I just place that on the high points of my cheekbones and also on the top of my brow, on my brow bone as well as my nose. So I'm just placing some mascara on my bottom lash line to bring everything together. I didn't want anything too heavy under there so I'm just using my MAC Pro Beyond Twisted Lash to add some definition to my lashes. And once that's done, the look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know um, what you'd like for me to do next and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!